Good morning! I'm Saramel Magkalas, your subject teacher for general mathematics. For today's lesson, it is about functions as models with learning competency code M11GM-IA-1. What I need to know? O sa Pilipino, ito ay ang alamin. Sa bahagi nito, malalaman mo ang mga dapat mong matutunan sa module. Pag natapos mo ang module nito, inaasahan na At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to represent real-life situations using functions, including piecewise functions. Specifically, the students are expected to be able to demonstrate how function is being used in daily life and create a model interpreting a piecewise function. What's in? O kung sa Pilipino, ito ay ang balikan. Ito ay may kiling pagsasanay o pagbalik-aral upang matulungan kang maayugnay ang kasulokuyang aralin sa naunang mga leksyon. Functions as Models Function is a mathematical relation within two objects, an input and an output, and that the output is related to the input by some rule. In example image, it is a function model representing input and output. Please be noted that for every input, there is a corresponding output. Let us compare what are the differences between relations and a functions. A relation is a rule that relates values from a set of values called the domain. The second set of values called the range. Here is an example showing that the values in x are called the domain and the values y are called the range. A function is a relation where each element in the domain is related to only one value in the range by some rule. On this example, it shows that for every value of x, the domain has a corresponding values of y or the range. Sa Tagalog, sa bawat value ng x o ang tinatawag ng indomain ay may katumbas na value ng y o yung tinatawag naman natin range. The elements of the domain can be imagined as input to a machine that applies a rule to these inputs to generate one or more outputs. In the example, it is a function machine, wherein it has an input and an output. For the functions, the elements of a domain can be imagined as input to a machine that applies a rule so that each input corresponds to only one output. In example, as a logo, function and function have the same in terms of function machine. Meron silang input at meron din silang katumbas na output. A relation is also a set of ordered pairs, x and y. A function is a set of ordered pairs, x and y, such that no two ordered pairs have the same x values but different y values. Bigyan din natin ang no two ordered pairs have the same x value but different y values. Ang value daw ng y pala dapat katulad sa value ng x. Tignan ang halimbawa. Dawang set of values for x and y ay as an example ng relation. Ngunit, hindi mabuti ang halimbawa. Hindi sila parehas na functions. Ang value ng x ay may doubling 2. Ang isa naman, sa value ng y, ay may doubling 6. Ano sa tingin niyo ang function at ang hindi function? Magaling! Ang unang halimbawa ay not function. At function naman ang pangalawang halimbawa. 
Dahil nga, a function is a set of ordered pairs such that no two ordered pairs have the same x values but different y values. Doble ang x value o ang 2 sa unang halimbawa kaya ito ay hindi function. Function can be represented in different ways. Una, function as a machine. Function as mapping. Function as table of values. Function as a graph. At ang panghuli ay function as equation. Let's do this. Identify if each set of objects is a function or not a function. The variable x represents the input and the variable y represents the output. Number 1. x is equals to automobile. y is equals to plate numbers. In this example, you can use mapping diagram to represent functions. Para mas madali natin ma-identify, gamitin natin ng mapping diagram. Ganito ang halimbawa ng paggamit ng mapping diagram. Ang unang hanay ay mga set of automobile. Ang pangalawang hanay naman ay ang mga plate numbers. It will represent the x and y values respectively. Ang halimbawa ba ay function or not function? Magaling! Ito ay function. Number 2. X is equals to math teacher. Y is equals to student in his class. Is this a function or a not function? Great! It is not a function. A function is a set of ordered pairs, x, y, such that not two ordered pairs have the same x values, but different in y values. Sa mga value dapat ng y, ay wala dapat tayong katulad na x value. Sa halimbawa ito, si math teacher ay pare-parehas na teacher ng bawat estudyante. Umuulit ang ating x value, kaya... Ang example nito ay not function. Number 3. X is equals to zip code. Y is equals to location. Is this a function or not a function? Tama, ito ay function. Dahil sa every value ng X, wala tayong umuuli para sa value ng Y. Now, open your module and continue answering the quiz in page 9. Additional Activity 1 On the attached extra page in your module, answer the Additional Activity 1. Additional Lesson Vertical Line Test A graph represents a function if and only if each vertical line intersects the graph at most once, maaari din natin ma-identify kung ang isang graph ay isang function or not using a vertical line test. Kung ang ating vertical line test ay tatama sa ating graph ng minsan lamang. Ito ang halimbawa ng paggamit ng vertical line test. Example number 1. Using vertical line test, mapapansin natin na minsan lamang ito tumama sa ating graph. Kaya ang halimbawa ito ay isang function. Example number 2. Gumamit tayo ng vertical line test. Kung mapapansin natin, mayroong isang vertical line test na tumama sa ating graph ng tatlong beses. Ito ay isang halimbawa ng not a function. Additional activity 2. Ang the attach extra page in your module, Answer the additional activity 2. What's new? O sa Pilipino, ito ang tuklasin. Sa bahagin nito, ang bagong maralin ay ipikilala sa inyo. 
what's new? Which of the following mapping diagrams representing functions or not a function? Is it 1? Is it 2? Or is it 3? The first mapping diagram is a function dahil nga meron tayong unique value ng x para sa unique value ng y. Mapping diagram number 2 is also a function. Kahit na meron tayong umuulit na value sa ating y, meron pa rin naman tayong unique value sa ating x. Number 3 mapping diagram is not a function dahil nga meron tayong umuulit na x value na hindi katangian ng isang function. Consider the scenario below and try to relate it to the concept of function. Class 11A students list down their grades in general mathematics. Basically, each student has only one grade for general mathematics, but more than one student can get the same grade. Arnold got 93, Beth got 91, Chip got 92, Jim got 89, and Eris also got 89. This example is a function. Bakit siya naging function? Dahil wala naman tayo umuulit sa ating x value. A grade 11 student who decided to ride a tricycle going home from school noticed a table of pairs posted inside the vehicles. He read the pair guide during the trip and found that he needed to pay 10 peso as the basic pair for covers a 5 km ride and an additional 1 peso every exceeding kilometer. This is the mapping diagram of the scenario. Every 3 km and 5 km, you will pay 10 peso, 6 km for 11 peso, 7 km for 12 peso, and 8 km for 13 peso. This example is a, a function, dahil wala na naman tayong value na umuli sa ating x o sa ating domain. Piecewise function. In a piecewise function, the input is divided into pieces of formula, with each piece having their own condition or rule to deduce the output. It shows a set of different intervals that behaves differently. Ang isang piecewise function ay maaaring i-break down into different formula na may iba't ibang condition. Tinusunod. In your early stage of learning math, you have already encountered this piecewise function. That is the absolute value defined as f of x is equals to negative x when x is less than 0 and x when x is greater than or equals to 0. Let us evaluate a piecewise function. Narito ang isang halimbawa. f of x is equals to 3x minus 8 when x is greater than or equals to 2, and 4x plus 5 when x is less than 2. Find a, f of negative 2, b, f of 2, and c, f of 5. Let us evaluate this piecewise function. a, f of negative 2. Here are the steps in evaluating the piecewise function. Step 1 is to identify what formula to be used in the given piecewise function. Step 2, make sure that it will satisfy the equation. Ang inahanap natin ay ang f negative 2. Negative 2 will satisfy x less than 2. Number 3, once done in identifying the formula to be used, substitute the value of f. Negative 2 will satisfy x less than 2, kaya ang gagamitin natin formula sa ating physics function ay ang 4x plus 5. Step 4, Evaluate. f of negative 2 is equals to 4x plus 5. 
papalitan na natin ang value ng x ng negative 2. After replacing the x value of negative 2, simplify the equation. Kaya ang ating final answer ay f of negative 2 is equals to negative 3. Let's evaluate b, f of 2. Ganun pa rin ang step na ating switching din. 2 will satisfy x greater than or equals to 2. Kaya ang gagamitin natin ay ang 3x minus 8. Palitan na natin ang value ng x ng 2. Then, simplify. Ang f of 2 is equals to negative 2 ang ating makukuha. Ngayon naman, sagitin natin ang c, f of 5. 5 will satisfy x greater than or equals to 2. Kaya, kaya ang gagamitin natin ay ang 3x minus 8. Palitan na natin ang value ng x ng 5. Simplify, makukuha natin ang f of 5 is equals to 7. Additional activity 3. On the attached extra page in your module, answer the additional activity 3. On the attached extra page in your module, answer the module 1 assessment.